In part B, now we're asking for Q. Remember, we just found what P was. So if we want Q, we have to recognize from these uh, transformations again, what, what does that mean? What's Q? Now that's what we're looking for. So Q, you have to know that this, whatever number is in front of the X, in this case right here, it's called a T, but whatever number is in front of it, that is related to the period. Now where P was exactly equal to the amplitude, I always tell my students that this thing in the middle here, this Q is not equal to the period. Not exactly, but it's related. We know that Q equals two pi over the period. This is something to memorize. You could say, well, in the generic form, normally we say that, uh, you know, Y equals, let's say, A times cos of B X, let's just say, plus D, because sometimes we have a C, let's move things left and right. Something like this, for example, normally we call that B, where A is the amplitude, B is not equal to the period, but it's 2 pi over the period. And D is the vertical shift. That's normally how it goes. That's like the most common way of writing a cosine. Uh, we could, of course, have a C in the middle here. Another, we could have had it like this, you know, with like a, something like that, moving it left or right within the cosine, like that. But we don't need to worry about that. Just trying to show you here. So, uh, in general, then, this is a vertical shift. And in this case right here, we just wanted the period because that's just this letter right here. So we know that Q isn't equal to the period, but it's 2 pi over the period. Um, so I think then it'll help us to know sort of what, what is actually the period. Do we know what the period is? I think that's what we need to know. But they do tell us this. Remember they told us that high tide happened at t equals 0, but watch carefully. They told us something else. They told us information to tell that the low tide happened at 5.3, but they said it happened 7 hours later. So that's at t equals 7. If you think about a cosine to get from the top to the very bottom, that takes you 7 hours. So to get back to the very top, which is the whole period, that's going to be then double that, so 14. That's how you can get that that is 14 hours. Oops, that looks like a 19 or something. It's supposed to be a 4. So, therefore, we could say that Q is equal to 2 pi over 14. We just do this on a trusty old calculator here, and away we go. So, um, yeah, I can do a fraction. So give me the fraction here, and I'll say 2 times pi, and I have to find the pi button, which is right here. I say enter. And I put the bottom of it, I make it 14, and enter. I get 0.448799. And think how many significant figures? Always three if you're not otherwise told. So 449 will be my answer here. So 0 0.449. That's Q.